Welcome to the Empowered Podcast with Deanna Merlino, a personal development show where I will be sharing with you just how to transform yourself into the best version of you, both inside and out. From fitness and nutrition to business and positive mindset work, I'll be showing you exactly how to live your best life. I'll be keeping it as real and raw as it gets. So get ready to peel back the layers and really transform yourself under the surface because nothing is better than finding your purpose and living this life as your true, authentic self. So I have a really fun addition to utilize as a source that I would love for you guys to do at the start of your day, every single day, to just keep you on track, help you with your goals, really get you into a positive mindset every single morning, because what we do in the morning is how we are going to shape our entire day. I have this fancy little sheet that I'm calling Day by Design, and it's an editable PDF that you're going to be able to fill out even as your day goes on if you need to. Some of it is meant to be for you to do as your day goes on. And some of the things that are in there are going to be the mood that you're feeling for the day, tracking your exercise, your water intake, and your meals, You're going to write what you're grateful for, your schedule, your goals, your get to do list, because I don't like to say to do list or have to do a money tracker and just keeping everything in one place for what you need to do today, tomorrow and for all the days so that you can make sure that you stay on track and have the best day that you can. So in order for you guys to get this, I'm going to have you go to my website, which is www.deannamerlinofit.com. And you're going to get asked to sign up for a newsletter that you will then get this in exchange for free. So super easy. You don't have to do anything but sign up. And after that, you'll get a quick little welcome letter. And then once a month, I will send out a newsletter that is going to keep you guys up to date with me. So you can just get to see the ins and outs of what's going on in the life of Deanna Merlino and the Empowered Podcast. Can't wait for you guys to utilize this. And just can't wait to see you guys sharing it on social media as well hitting your goals, helping others do it as well. Please take advantage of this. It will definitely be fun for everyone involved. Welcome back, my empowered fam. So excited to be with you guys here today. And I'm going to do a shameless plug here. If you guys are desiring to be healthier or to have you know, that dream body that you've always wanted... I would love to help you between my fitness app and my nutrition coaching. That is something that you guys can fully take advantage of, and I can certainly help get you there. And if you dream of being your own boss and traveling the world and having time and financial freedom freedom, or love helping others and desire to be a leader and want to be a part of an inspiring community of amazing people and make a change in this crazy, crazy world then I would love to talk to you about a possible business opportunity and see if it can be a fit for you. And if it's not, that's okay. But know that there's always an option. I want to help you take that inspired action that we talked about last week. I want to help you start creating your dream life. All right. So I want to talk about the fact today that there are so many people that will message me and I have coffee dates with with, and we just chat about all the things and about business. And then they'll say, I wish I could do what you do or, but I'm not like you or I can't do it because dot, 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 dot. Whatever comes after that because is a self-imposed limited belief or something that the world made you believe that I'm telling you is not true. And that is step one. That is where you need to start focusing. Whatever would come after that dot, dot, dot of why you can't do the thing that you want to do. That is where you need to start. And that is your priority to rewire that thought. And your life will look completely different. Whether you think you can or whether you think you can't, you are completely right. We make our decisions on our own success starting in our brains. I am not different than anyone else. I want to remind you of that. And because of that, I want to remind you where I came from. I grew up paying for everything myself. Nothing has ever been handed to me. I remember arguments with my parents over who was paying for what. Because again, when we're children, we don't understand the values that our parents are trying to instill in us. But I remember other little things like when I was real little and my mom paying for groceries with change or having to put things back because we just couldn't afford them at that time. 
I remember that I didn't get my first cell phone until I was able to pay that bill myself. So I was like on the late end of high school and everyone else had one because they were the new fancy thing. And I just felt like I was such an outcast because I didn't have one. And most of the times, honestly, I paid for my school lunch, even myself, the most basic things. The coolest thing that I ever got was my family's hand-me-down car. And I also didn't get that until I was able to pay for the gas in it and cover the maintenance of it myself. And if a part couldn't be paid to be fixed by myself, I promise you that I was just riding it until it literally couldn't be ridden anymore. I was cleaning at my family lodge at a very, very young age, like honestly, as far back as I can remember. And it's ironic because I never wanted anything to do with that place because of it. I tried to leave that town as fast as humanly possible to get away from the family business. And here I am at 30 years old, now a part owner and running the entire rental property. God's plan is just so much larger than ours. What we think that we're going to do with our lives, a lot of times God's just laughing in our face because what he has planned for us is what's going to be the ultimate thing. And the longer that you fight that, the longer that you try and give that pushback and try and do things your way, the more difficult you're just going to make your own life. So if there's anything I've learned at this point, it's just going with the flow. If something feels wrong, it is. If something feels scary, it's probably the answer. But I know from the outside looking in, people are thinking, well, I can't just quit my job to create that dream life. Well, I'm not saying to go and quit your job right now. But what I am saying is that if that's what you want, then you could find your thing, whatever sets you on fire and learn how to create a living from it. Do it while you're doing what you have to do right now. Build it alongside that job that you're doing right now, whether you hate it or whether you just want different choices and grow it until it's at a point where you can sustain off of it. That's what I did. I remember right before I started this network marketing journey that I began on, that I was managing a cab company. And when I talk about miserable, I was miserable. I used to come home every day crying to my boyfriend, now husband, that I couldn't do this another day. And even though I you know, was happy with the people that I worked with and enjoyed some of the aspects of it, I just knew that I couldn't stay there. So I seeked a different job and found one that actually paid more. And I thought at first, awesome, this is it. I'll have fun here. And I ended up working for an industrial and construction sales company. Now, I don't know if you guys know what I look like. If you don't, go look at my Instagram. But I was literally going to work every day wearing steel-toed boots, collared polos, and khaki pants. And I was selling screws and drill bits to men in a men field. Not saying that you know, women can't work in a men's industry. But what I am saying is it was not for me. So even though it had amazing benefits, and even though I was making better money, I quickly realized I was miserable there too. And that was when it clicked for me finally that it doesn't matter what job I'm doing. It's that I'm not happy because I'm not following my heart. That was the moment that I decided to become a personal trainer and pursue something that really made me happy. That's when I got that job, even though I was really scared about quitting because it was a huge pay cut and loss of benefits. That's when I got that job at F45 that I mentioned, and I absolutely loved it. But it was not long before I realized that I just wanted to be my own boss. It didn't matter what job I had, what the pay was. The real issue was that I didn't want somebody telling me what to do and when. I wanted to be able to create my own income, create my own schedule, create my own day-to-day life. So that was the moment that I decided to become my own boss. At that point, I had been growing my health and wellness business alongside all of these jobs I had. And because I had been growing it faithfully, at this point, I was able to rely on that income because I had been doing it alongside what I had to do for such a long time. And I did it during a pandemic. And I'm doing it during a pandemic. Do not tell yourself it's not possible because it is. Whatever it is, that little calling inside of you that might be a quiet calling right now, I'm telling you it can be done. I am proof. I'm not the only person who has done it. And I won't be the last. It could be you. There's no reason that it can't be you. And I'm telling you that it should be you. 
I want to list all the jobs that I can think of that I've had so you guys can just get a glimpse of everything I've done to get where I am now. A coffee barista, in hospitality, a hotel housekeeper, a cashier, a grocery bagger, event catering, retail stores at the mall, a receptionist, a a secretary, HR management, a brand ambassador, a promotional model, hostess, waitress, bartender, marketing, a financial account manager, construction and industrial sales, and I am sure there are several other things that I've done. What I've just listed there alone is almost 20 jobs. Some of you might be thinking, holy crap, girl, like get a grip. (laughs) And I agree. I've said it before. I was never fired from any of my jobs. I just would get to the point where I was so unhappy that I felt like I needed to find something else that would make me happier. And it wasn't until I took a look at why I was leaving those jobs and why I was unhappy that I was able to find the thing that I was going to stick with. And that has made me permanently unemployable. You could do that too. I'm not the only one who can do this. I have given up a lot along the way for partners who were jealous or made me doubt myself, for lack of belief in myself or lack of support. And I've learned so much from that. Find your tribe. Find your people who are going to build you up, fill you with love, fill you with confidence, be your biggest hype man. If you don't have that someone, I would love to be it for you. And I do have a great support system now. Have faith that your perfect person is out there, that they're coming at the perfect time. Or maybe you don't want anyone else. Maybe you want to be a lone rider forever, and that is okay too. Be your own damn superhero. Whatever it takes, just decide to do it. Guys, through it all, now I'm a multi entrepreneur. I have my health and wellness business, I am this podcast's host. I have my own fitness exercise app. I'm a self-employed certified elite personal trainer specializing in nutrition and mental transformation, a rental property owner and operator. My husband and I invest in many ways. I'm an NLP coach and training. And most importantly, I am a proud wife and mama to my son and my rescue doggies. And I'm doing all of this while navigating an ever-evolving grief circle. I have my days. I have times where I just pull back from it all. But I always find a way and I always find my way back. It's going to be tough, but everything in life is tough. Being rich is hard. Being poor is hard. Choose your hard. Being married is hard. Being divorced and lonely is hard. Choose your hard. Chasing your dreams and creating an empire is hard. Building someone else's dreams and feeling like a caged animal is hard. Choose your hard. Listen, if you genuinely love your job and are happy clocking in and out working for someone else and that works for you, more power to you. I am happy for you if you are happy because that's what's important. But I do know statistically that you are the minority if this is that case. And I know firsthand what it's like to want more want better, want different, to want more choices and more freedom. You can be anything that you want to be, anything. And I am here to show you that, here to motivate you. Take the first step. Do it scared. Learn as you go. Be unsure and do it anyhow, because I assure you there is no perfect time ever. Maybe that's having that talk with me, or maybe it's already knowing what your heart is calling you to do. Whatever it is, just do it. I hope you all have an amazing week and that this hits you hard in the feels because this is your sign that it's time. Have a great day. I love you all and I will see you next week. Thank you guys so much for listening to today's episode. If you want to find out more, you can follow me on Instagram at Empowered with Deanna and my personal page, Fit Deanna Lolita. You can also visit me on my website, which is DeannaMerlinoFit.com. Make sure that whatever platform you guys are listening on, please rate and subscribe. And this means so much to me. It's going to help get me out there to help so many other people. I'm so grateful that you're here with me on this journey of wellness and self-empowerment. I cannot promise that it will always be easy, but I do know that it will always be worth it. Stick with me and together, let's start living as the version of us that we were meant to be. 
because the world is waiting for your gifts and you deserve to live the life of your wildest dreams and beyond. So friends, let's get empowered. 